I've been editing pretty hard. This one's 35 minute car cam video. It'll probably be out before this one. But don't forget guys, calendars are available on my website, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. 30 bucks, free shipping, Australia wide, all images taken by yours truly. So we'll let that video export, get my stuff ready, get the bait. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling that hopeful about catching crabs today, but you know, put them out and just see, see how we go, you never know. Well, we are back. In the mangroves, getting stuck. <laughs> getting pissed off. Just like I always used to. But it's new season. September is the start of a new season. The water's still pretty cold. And you know, you still get mud crabs in winter. But they go into hibernation. They slow the metabolism down. And they just don't eat as much. Don't get out of their holes as much. So you don't catch as many. But I thought I'd just go out and just, just have a look around. And just see if we can find any new holes because it's been a while since I've walked through the mud flats and the mangroves. I don't think I'll put my traps out today just because I don't, know, I don't feel I don't feel like there's much around at the moment. Water's still pretty damn cold. We can still go for a dive and still do more stuff today. I just don't feel that confident. Two nice eastern rock lobsters, both males, which is really good, and they have a nice size as well. Big one. Another freaking big one. It's pretty cool to see the difference between the colours. This one's more red, this one's more green. They're just amazing animals, so we'll chuck them on ice, put them to sleep as quickly as possible. Yeah, pretty happy. No mud crabs, but two nice sized lobsters, so I can't complain at all. My dog always finds them. They always end up in our garden, and my little dog, this little one, always annoys them, tries to eat them. So we'll let him go. Still in our garden, but out the front where Chester, my little dog, can't get him. Maybe next door. 
next door. Put him next door, yeah. Uh, it might be pregnant, that's why I was hissing so much at me, trying to bite me. But yeah, we'll let him go. Or her, whichever one it is. I'm just gonna release him next door. If it has a nest or something, it'll probably find its way back. But at least he's out of Chester's way. Off he goes. Welcome to the room of my shit. <laughs> Got everything for the boat. I'm with my brother Sam. You introduce, you introduce yourself. Flip the camera. Flip the camera. Flip the camera. No. Flip the camera. No. <laughs> We're going fishing. I'm taking dad as well. We don't know who's going to get seasick. One of them's surely going to get seasick. But We're going fishing. It's pretty late. Oh, what time is it? It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and yeah, we'll go out there. It's the day after I did that mud crab and lobster. And hopefully we can get some fish to add to it. And so we go. Check that. <laughs> I'll make an early call and say snapper. What'd you say? Oh, snapper? I said snapper. You've never even caught a snapper, how can you say that? I know what it feels like. <laughs> oh. Flexing. This is a better workout than the gym. Oh, what is Flatty. that? Flatty. <laughs> what is that? You, you jagged him. Caught him on the tail. What the hell? Lift him over. Oh, that's big. <laughs> big Sergeant Baker. <laughs> that's the biggest one so far. That's actually a big fish. You'll hold it up. Nice job, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? He comes. You want to see like pinky colour? Yeah, Sergeant Baker. Oh, it's so little. Still got my bait on. Just hooked on to a pig fish. Beautiful eating. This is my PB. Let's see how big he is. 39 centimetres, my PB. Good eating, beautiful fish. He's going in the esky. Yeah, look, it's just there. Oh, no way. Epic. <laughs> so we just got that drone footage of the whales. There's definitely two, probably a mum and a calf. I don't know if something's wrong or not. It did look like they had the start, but they moved a fair way. So we had the river mouth at the start, which is way around that corner. But yeah, we can't really do much. We told Maritime because it's so close, you know, it might attract sharks or it might be, something might be wrong. We don't want to wash up. So I guess we just got to let leave it to them for, to handle. I don't know, we'll hear about it. But yeah, it was pretty sick. First whale encounter. Real close with the tail slapping and all that. Caught a few fish, which was pretty fun. Yeah, we'll head in and just 
Look at that footage. Just do a quick throw to this pig fish. PB, which is good. Only really good fish we caught. A lot of barracuda, a lot of Sergeant Baker, a lot of little flatheads. But yeah, these guys are really beautiful filleted up. Boom. Ready to go. Motor in lock position. Strap over. Let us know in the comments if you like the vlog type of um, videos. Tell them you got a haircut today? I got a haircut today. <laughs> Fresh cuts get there. <laughs> Just a bit of spray of Lanax. I do it every two to three times I go out. I don't really know what it does. Get the lid. But my roommate Kate Tim said I should do it. So I should do it. Just cooking that pig fish up for lunch. Oh, doesn't get better than that. Just shallow frying, don't need much oil. Put in a fish wrap, just for a bit of healthy lunch today. A few days after we took all that footage. Look at that, lunch doesn't get better than that. I'll just inform you guys about the whales. When we first saw them, they were so close to the rocks, we thought they must be seagulls getting stranded or something. Turns out they're actually southern right whales, not humpback whales. A few friends that said, and a few friends said they come in real close, close enough to the sand and they can rub their bellies on the sand to get rid of parasites and stuff. I never knew anything about that, so it's good to learn something new. And they played in the shallows for a bit and then, yeah, disappeared, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully disappeared out and just kept on their migration south and hopefully they're all good. But yeah, it was pretty sick seeing those so close to the boat. Yeah. We were worried at the start, but turns out it, it is all good. So I'll get this fish wrap going. Pig fish, tomato, cheese, lettuce, and sauce. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm gonna tuck into this, start editing this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, follow the Instagram at offshore underscore underscore adventures. If you want any merch, offshoreadventures.com.au. I'll see you next time. You. Any matches? <laughs> <laughs> Like that. I've got a woman. <laughs> so just got that driving footage of the GoPro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got the pressure. Yeah, the pressure of the boys. It's got a crowd. <laughs> do you want to say anything? Do you want to say anything? <laughs> <Easy. laughs> it's not a woman.